Welcome to another episode of my vlog. Today, I wanted to talk to you about vlogging itself. I just recently started vlogging and documenting my travels. So I'm not an expert at all. I'm just starting out, I'm learning the tools, I'm learning my way around this platform and getting used to actually being in front of the camera like this. And today, I wanted to actually share with you um, the tools that I use and how you could get started. Vlogging equipment doesn't have to be super expensive. There's a lot of vloggers out there who use their Sony Alphas and similar cameras, which just the body can cost over 2000 euros. But you could start with what you have or by investing very little money. First thing you can start with, which is the easiest way, is probably your phone. Your phone records pretty amazing footage and you already have it. So there's nothing there that can stop you. So obviously, um, people like me, I'm a little bit of a, a tech geek. I love technology, I love cameras and so on. For me, I didn't want to start with a phone. I wanted to start with something bigger. At the same time, most of my videos or a lot of my videos are recorded on the motorcycle where I have a camera on the helmet and a camera facing me in front of me. And so there I needed basically GoPros. And let's start there. You could start with something like the GoPro 8 or the GoPro 9 right now. So the GoPro 8 is an amazing camera when it comes to action shots. But at the same time, you can use the GoPro as your main vlogging camera. Let's actually step this up slowly and I will introduce to you like different things you can do. So first, let's look into how the GoPro would work out of the box. If you got the camera like it is, no attachments, no handles, nothing, just the camera. This is the GoPro Hero 8 with the in-camera microphone and I'm just holding it in my hand. Instead of using the onboard microphone of the GoPro, you can actually get a mod called the Media Mod. As you can see, offers you a microphone, a bigger microphone in the front and a microphone in the back as well as a horseshoe on the top and on the side over here. This little mod comes at around 90 euros. Let's check out how the GoPro using the media mod changes the sound quality of your video. Now, and this is me holding the GoPro Hero 8 in my hands using the media mod attached to it. How does it sound? Is it better? As you can see with this, the sound already improves a little bit and you might want to just go with it at the moment, having spent uh, 320 or 370 um, euros on the GoPro 8 or 9, depending which one you get, plus the 90 euros that the media mod cost, you'd be around 400 or 400 and something euros uh, of equipment already, which isn't that cheap, but it will give you something like this. Instead of holding the camera like this while you're recording, you might want to get a handle. What I recommend is using a small tripod like this one. This is a Manfrotto tripod. It's really small and quite cheap to be honest. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I think it's around the 40 euro mark. With this tripod and an extension where you can add the GoPro to a tripod like this, you can create your own selfie stick. Let's check it out how the footage changes. If you compare this to the other two videos, you can notice that there's way more space on the sides and you can see much more of where I'm standing and how this is looking like. Now this setup, as you could see in the video, um, this is how it looks like. It gives you already a much better way of vlogging. You can keep the camera at the distance, record far more of your surroundings, which is actually great for vlogging, which is already a massive improvement. The sound might not be perfect yet. The sound I usually record is done with a lavalier microphone that I'm actually wearing right now and the Rode Wireless Go. I can show you this here. I can't extend too much because it's attached to me. It's basically two elements is the um, sender, which is this thing, which also acts as a microphone or you can attach a lavalier microphone as I have right now and a base station that is attached to the camera. This can be used on the GoPro as well. So let's check it out and let's see how the GoPro would sound using this microphone and if there's any improvement of the sound quality while you're recording. As of right now, I've got the GoPro attached to the tripod and the Rode wireless microphone attached to the GoPro. How is the sound? Is it any better? 
I bet it is. So as you can see with a setup like that, having a GoPro, the media mod, a tripod and the Rode Wireless Go, you can have a really good setup for vlogging and you're still under the thousand euro mark, which is actually quite good nowadays if you think about it. Now still, your phone is a very valid option. I have basically the GoPro Hero 7 attached to the bike facing me while I'm riding. And I've got the GoPro Hero 8 on my helmet attached kind of at this height showing you where I'm riding. So the question is, do I actually vlog with a GoPro? Well, the answer is no. So I vlog with the Sony CV-1. Let me actually show you how it looks like right now as it is in front of me. This is the Sony ZV-1 as I use it. I have the media handle or the creator handle, which gives me a few buttons that I can use while recording. It's a front facing screen. Um, here I've got a, an Ulanzi light attached to it that I don't use normally, but I probably should. If I move here over to the side, I've got there the wireless go attached to it, which is attached here to the camera. The way I use the camera is I basically grab it like so, and then I hold it in front of me and record myself. You can probably see it over here, how it looks like. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have more questions about this, leave a comment down below. 